going on everybody today's video is going to be about quantification of your irrigation system now it doesn't matter if you did one yourself and it's a new install like mine or if you've already got an existing one one thing you need to do is convert time of each zone into inches on the ground and the reason why you do that is because any product that you'll put down that's granular especially will say you know needs a quarter inch of water needs a half inch of water it'll have some kind of value on the label so you need to know how long that you at least need to run it and also you're going to check for coverage and see if it's if it's decently even and if you need to make any adjustments but first let's pick up where we left off so off camera a few days ago i hooked up the uh rainbird timer right here let me go over real quick what i did and show you what i got going on here so i only hooked up three of them those guys right there and i used the black one as my common it doesn't matter which wire you use as your common as long as you wire it appropriately it doesn't matter now looking down here it looks like a rat's nest it's because i'm going to tidy all this up once my other uh, zones get put in going that way well for the time being just for testing purposes i've got everything hooked up now each one of these solenoids have two wires on them and they're just black it doesn't matter it doesn't matter which way you hook them up as long as one of them hooks to the color you have designated for the zone and then whatever your ground or common is they it has to have one wire from each one of them going to that common that's what this big wire nut is right here now if you had these in the ground in those little boxes you can get the uh wire nuts like these guys that's got the grease in them i didn't use that i don't think i need to because i mean it's not gonna get if it gets wet up here if it gets submerged in water i got big problems over here i don't think that's gonna happen though so let's talk about uh actually setting these cups out and getting some readings so a lot of your big long youtube channels uh like alan haynes one of them i've seen him talk about doing the uh, tuna cup challenge where you take and you put a lot of tuna cans in the yard and you're pretty much doing the exact same thing i didn't feel like eating a whole bunch of tuna um i used to like tuna not a not as big a fan of it these days well sprinkle warehouse sells this kit right here and it's got all the little cups and stands that does the exact same thing i think it seems like 23 bucks 25 bucks 20 something bucks so i opted to go that route it's something you can you can loan it to your neighbor you don't have to have tuna cans all over your yard you don't gotta eat a bunch of tuna it's a win to me let's open this thing up yeah All right, and they come with these little stands and the little they go together. Whoa, come back. Oh, look at there. That's nice and simple, right? Let's go put these things in the yard. You know what these things look like to me, though? Y'all remember Madonna? Well, oh, that don't look too good. Hopefully that'll go around or something. I got these guys set up. You see that right there, all over the yard in this zone right here. And now comes the easy part. Hopefully, the rain will hold off because obviously that's gonna throw off readings. I'm gonna set this to run for 30 minutes. And then we'll go out there and compare all the cups and look at the readings. There it is. Well, so much for that. All right, the rain is decided. Let's try this again. All right, let's see what we got. That was just shy of a quarter. That was just shy of a quarter. <clears throat> this was closer to a half. No, the half is up here. It's a little over a quarter. It got hit twice though. Just shy of a quarter. Now look at this one. I don't know if 
if I forgot to dump it out after that rainstorm come through. Well, we got two inches in it. Almost two inches. It was like an inch and uh, three quarters. I don't think I dumped it out. But it would be a little bit higher because it's getting hit by that sprinkler, that sprinkler, and that sprinkler. And I think it's getting a little taste of, uh, it's getting that one too. Just shy of a quarter. I think just shy of a quarter inch in 30 minutes is where it's at for most of these. That seems to be the overwhelming average. We're back at it. I got it on this second zone right here. Cut all the cups set out. Now I suspect this one's going to uh, water a little heavier, but we'll find out right now. Look at it go. Look at it go. This is a new zone. I didn't put this on camera. I didn't put this in a video. Look at it throwing. Monsoon 8000 is active. I call this Monsoon 8000 because it brings the rain and eventually it will be watering, irrigating 8000 square feet of turf turf grass whatever yard that's how much it's watering that's what i'm gonna call it that now my irrigation just turned off which means it did a whole solid 30 minutes let's see the results that's a half inch pour out one for my homes why in the hell that's a quarter inch. I got stuff all over the place over here. I need to make some adjustments. In the middle. A little over, between quarter and a half. I guess we're close to three eighths. This one caught it from all directions. I need to back that guy down. And it's got a full inch in this one spot right here. What are we at here? A little over a quarter inch. That one ain't got about an eight. Quarter inch, exactly. Okay, the longer the shorter this is, if you've got a dry spot in the yard, you can find out real quick by using these cups that you got from Sprinkle Warehouse. Uh, to me, if you don't like tuna or chicken salad, it's an easy way to uh, figure out what's going on. I've got decently even watering. However, some of the places where I put the cups, uh, it was getting it from other corners, if you will. So it, it kind of jacked it up. Now, I don't have to worry about that. I'm, I could do some adjustments, but I don't have to worry about that because the sand that I'm on, it uh, it sucks the, the water up so quickly. So pretty much I take the uh, lowest common denominator. In other words, if the lowest cup I got out there is a quarter inch, I know that I'm at least getting a quarter inch. Everything else is more than that. All right, so the point of all this, if you buy that kit or if you use tuna cans or whatever, you can find out where water's going in your yard <clears throat> out of your irrigation system. It's a beautiful thing. Um, if you have a dry spot, you can use it to diagnose that. If you have a wet spot, you can also use it to diagnose that as well. You can use it to find out how much time it takes to get down X amount of water in a certain area. I'm getting enough coverage I'm not worried about the overwatering in spots as much in my case, like I said, because of sandy soil. But I'm set up, I'm ready to go for doing seeding. I'm only running out of time because the summer is closing. 
and I'm trying to do Zoysia seed. Spoiler alert. So, the next video you see out of me is going to be uh, setting up for a Zoysia seed, putting the Zoysia seed down, rolling it in, getting water on it, getting fertilizer on it, getting everything growing. Now, all that being said, if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button for me. If you got any questions, drop a comment down below. If you have any interest in this uh, Zoysia seeding project I'm going to do, I'm going to use Zenith Zoysia. Uh, go ahead and hit the sub button, subscribe. Um, I got other projects coming up because I'm going to have grass growing shortly. I don't have an edger. There's other pieces of equipment I have laying around here that's broken that I got to fix. Um, my daily driver has some issues, so there's going to be videos coming up on it shortly. So for that, give me a sub, come back and see me.